For cheap, fast, and reliable Ultimate Team coins, check out igvault.com and use the code HABER to get yourself 6% off. Terms and conditions apply. Link below. IG Vault, we're also doing a Christmas giveaway for a Nintendo Switch and a bunch of gift cards. All you have to do to enter is use the code HABER on the site. Good morning, everyone. If my energy is not there in this video, I just want to quickly let you know that I am very ill. I don't know what I've caught, but I've caught something. I did a lot of traveling yesterday and the day before. Uh, and I'm guessing I just caught it then I just today feel like absolute rubbish So apologies if you know the energy in this video is not to scratch But I did want to talk about rewards before we open them in terms of uh, division rivals anyway This is my team at the minute now. I'm debating and I, this is a big debate for me personally Debating whether or not to sell baby Balak and bring in prime Roy Keane's SBC now that would depend on if I do manage to pack myself a few untradables because I would like to make it cheaper to have coins left over to, you know, build the rest of the squad, for example. And of course, that will also change if I hit an informed Fabinho. Now, obviously, this is more towards champs. Now, I only actually got gold three in champions, um, but gold three seems to be incredible. Gold three, I've hit a red informed Salah and uh, I believe a red informed, uh, yeah, 87 Mares and a... Ate some pianos or something like that. Gold three has been ridiculous, and my elites have just been not very good rewards wise. So I just saved myself the hassle this weekend and got gold three. Uh, I think I went fifteen, like four or something like that. Um, but in terms of plays that I would like from this team of the week, uh, Fabinho would stop me from getting prime Roy Keane. I would sell Baby Balak and use Fabinho, and then uh, build uh, use the sort of a million coins I'll have. To build around the squad. If I hit a Messi, I would sell my um, my Depay and Mbappe and build around Messi. Uh, Griezmann would cause me to again sell Depay, probably keep Mbappe and have Griezmann off Kem. Uh, Jesus would again like cause me to sell Depay. Like these players up here, all three of the strikers, I would um, then change players that are starting in the team. For example. Uh, but anyway, enough rambling from me. Let's go ahead and open them. We have got uh, Division 3 Rank 3 rewards, which are decent rewards, don't get me wrong. I think I get 250k packs and two rare gold packs. Obviously, last week, we probably won't top what we got last week. We hit ourselves the Inform Canceller that I've got in my club, as well as another walkout Inform, and just, I think, a couple of regular walkouts as well. It was incredible rewards. Uh, but this is what the team is currently looking like, and, uh, and hopefully I can hit something decent to either upgrade the team or go into maybe a Prime Rikin SBC, or even maybe a Prime Balak SBC, depending on how good or how lucky we get in our awards today. Hopefully, it's going to be a good day. Uh, when I did the Martinez daily objective, yet to use him, but I'm going to, I'm going to keep him as a super sub. He actually looks really, really decent. So, uh, so yeah, apart from that, um, I'm pretty much just waiting on Marcus Alonso to get a couple, hopefully get another upgrade or two, and he might then replace Alexandro. I'm undecided on that yet. And if he does, that will give me a lot more freedom to work with this team. So, anyway, I am now going to wait the extra minute that we have to wait and uh, and then open my Division Rival Awards. Let's do it. Do you want to, first of all, as well, point out the Christmassy themed face cam? I thought that was pretty cool. Massive shout out to Matt, my designer, for doing that as well. I am in December doing a 4600 thief point giveaway for either console or maybe even both consoles, uh, depending on obviously how you know videos do in December and whatnot. But all you have to do is leave a comment in the video. I'm going to be going through all my comments in December and picking a random comment or maybe two random comments. Uh, make sure either you leave like your Twitter handle or something uh, and just leave a random comment. Just uh, just leave a comment. And I'll go through and pick some winners. Uh, make sure you subscribed and liked the video. Anyway. Let's open our rank 3 rewards up. We have got Division 3 rank 3 rewards, uh, which grants us uh, two rare players packs and two rare gold packs, which in my opinion is pretty decent. So I'm looking forward to opening those bad boys up. Uh, hopefully they're going to be pretty decent. So uh, obviously last week we did really, really good. So we've got the Footmas themed packs, which just look really, really cool. We've got the Christmassy themed face cam border, which also looks really cool. And we're going to start off with a non-walkout, but I... Is that a board? No, it's not a board job. We're going to start off with uh, Centurion. Not a great start. However, you know, we've, we have got 250k packs to open as well. So hopefully they are going to be a lot better for us than these. But we have a couple of consumables here as well. I think I have this guy tradable. I do. Uh, and I've also got a tradable Sansira and a tradable Budon, I think. So I might as well get the 928 coins for those and discard them. Um... Next pack now, another rare gold pack. These are usually hit and miss, either really good or really bad. 
Um, and this one is going to be a really bad variation of that. Of course, last week we did get really lucky, so I can't really sit here and complain. Um, I would like to get something decent, but I'm not expecting it, you know. Uh, hopefully we can get something, though. Even if we've got, like, a, a, a rubbish walkout that doesn't sell for anything, as long as we have something in the club that we can use towards potential SBCs, that would be pretty decent. And we go ahead and hit a Sabitzer and Endombele. Not a great couple of packs there. Uh, we get a Benyat as well, who is tradable. We'll discard him. So, now we have the 250k packs. We're going to go ahead and start off with the first one. Come on, EA. Give us something decent, please. No walkout. Wow. Yikes. It's going to be an inform, though. I don't actually know who's in this two weeks team of the week that isn't a walkout, to be honest. It's going to be... No idea who that is. Don't think he sells for anything at all. I'm going to guess that anyway. Um, he's not even... He's... <laughs> Gumney, he's not even in, he's not even on the footbin homepage, so that's how you know he's bad. 76 raid, anything else decent in the pack though? Ugh. I mean, Adan, Pizzy, Condogbia, not bad. Seri's okay. Uh, none of these duplicates sell for anything, sadly, but, you know, we got a couple of 83s which are decent, so we'll take those. Untradeable, of course, very nice. I think we can just go ahead and discard. Yeah, 3.1k discard, it's not bad. It's not actually bad, so... Second and last 50k pack. Come on, EA. Give us a walkout, please. Nope. No walkout this week, sadly. In our, oh, wow. The luck's not in, boys. We've not we've not bought fifth points in like a week. So, EA aren't going to reward us with good pack luck. That's how it works, all right? That's how it works. But we do have Simon's rewards as well. And hopefully, Simon gets rewarded with something a lot better than us. It usually happens. Simon does usually get rewarded better than we do. So, hopefully... That is no different for this video, and uh, and we can hit something decent on Simon's account. Because I'd love to get him something decent. Um, he's not had a good pull in a couple of weeks now, or maybe even a month. So, hopefully we get something decent. Let's go ahead and open his rewards. On Simon's account now, this is actually Simon's team. It's a pretty solid team. He also has a 1.5 million coins and a bunch of investments. So, we have got his Division 1 Rank 2 Rival Awards, I believe it is. Uh, I believe it's Division 1 Rank 2. Is it? Yes, Division 1 Rank 2 Rewards. Pretty dope. We get two untradeable ultimate packs, which in my opinion is pretty decent. So, let's not waste any time and jump straight into these packs. I'm pretty excited to open these. Uh, hopefully, we can get something good because a walkout would be very nice. I kind of expect it in an ultimate pack. I don't know. Is there any ultimate packs in the store? There is not. I, I don't know. Wait, what, what's the pack probabilities an 87 plus is 4.3 percent in a pack a third of the value so you'd hope it's like 12 percent and upwards for an 87 plus in these packs we'll see first one come on ea are you are you oh an 83 way card you know what? How much does this card sell for? How much is it selling for? 83 Savage is one and a half thousand coins. One and a half thousand coins for, 80, for, for 83 Savage. Are you kidding me? One and a half thousand coins for that card. One and a half K. I am genuinely in shock right now. I'm genuinely in shock. We get two and a half K for the discards. Uh, <laughs> Ultimate packs are two and a half thousand thief points. So 16 pounds, add on another two pounds, 18 pounds, 19 pounds, 19 pounds that pack was. And you get a player worth one and a half thousand coins. The discards are worth about 15 and a half thousand coins for nearly 20 pounds. That is ridiculous. That is genuinely ridiculous. That is robbery. Anyway. Hopefully, we can redeem it with the second pack. Hopefully, we can. Come on, EA, please. Redeem it. There we go. We've got a walkout. Thank you. What's it going to be? It's going to be a normal 86 walkout. What's it going to be? Brazilian. CDM. Casemiro. No. Fernandinho. I forgot you. I forgot Fernandinho existed. I actually forgot Fernandinho existed. Fair enough. Uh, Fernandinho. Let me see how much he's selling for right now. Fernandinho goes for about 19,000 coins on PlayStation. That's not too bad. That's actually pretty decent, to be fair. No, that's not too shabby. I can get behind that one, yeah. I can get behind that one. That, that's pretty decent. Uh, anything else in the pack? Hopefully, we can get like a couple 85s, maybe. Maybe another 86. 
What's it going to be? What is it going to be? Ooh, we've got two 84s, two Juventus 84s, actually. Uh, in Manzoukas and Chesney, we've got Glick and Zonzi. That's a much better pack. Much better pack. We also get Pepe Reina, uh, Paulista and Lenglet, who I'm guessing... Oh, okay, Lenglet is tradable. Akuna is tradable. That's actually been pretty decent, to be fair. That pack has redeemed it. I, I can't deny that pack has... Uh, has definitely redeemed <laughs> redeemed the first ultimate pack, but still, like I, I thought that was pretty shocking. Let me know what you think down below. Uh, uh, the ultimate pack having an 83 worth one half thousand coins. It's just my opinion. I just think that you should definitely be able to get something good. But to be fair, Simon's had some pretty solid luck. Um, if I was to go like this and go untradable items, this is his untradable club. He's got an untradable pack called Neymar, which is actually pretty solid. Uh, his red cards are pretty decent as well. He's got a UCL Alexandro. Um, in fact, to be fair, he's not actually got that good of a club. I think my club's better, but he's got a couple of really nice prime icons. So, yeah, he's got a pretty decent club. He's also got that Royce, which is actually just incredible. The card is just mental. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like down below. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are new around here. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. Sorry I've just been ill. I'm just not very well, and I do apologize. But thank you all for the support nonetheless. And I'll see you lads later.